Hey Scorpio, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Data. It's been a minute. It has been a minute since I have been on YouTube doing readings. I took the entire month of December off. I just took it off, just took it off. And I have been focusing on uh, the creation of Tarot School, which I am so proud to say is finally done. Tarot School. If you have the desire to read the cards, if you would like me to teach you how to read the cards like I read the cards, there is a link in the box below where you can go to my website, deepthoughtswithdana.com, and check out Tarot School. It is a seven um, it's a seven video series plus a one-on-one -on -one with me and a group collaboration that will take you through all 78 of the cards and teach you how to actually read the tarot. Did you see my fur baby move back there? <laughs> that was funny. Anyway, Tarot School will take you through all 78 of the cards and teach you their meanings and teach you how to read the tarot. So if you're interested, link in the box below. This is a general reading for the collective of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. If it does resonate with you, do know that it's absolutely positively impossible for this to be your personal reading, okay? You may see threads of your life in this reading. You may see threads of your feelings in this reading, but this reading is a general forecast for the sign of Scorpio. The only way to get confirmation, clarification, understanding, wisdom, and guidance is to have your own cards read because I can assure you I have read for so many people off of YouTube who are just absolutely, they know that these general readings are their story and that he or she is coming back and it's all going to be roses and when in fact we read their cards, no, it's not. So, Anyway, the only way to get absolute 100% clarity is to have your cards read. You can reach me, like I said, deepthoughtswithdana.com. I have my cards read by a reader on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> I have my cards read on YouTube. <laughs> That's funny. I have my cards read by a reader on YouTube. You I did it again. I have my cards. Oh, I have to edit this out. I have my cards read by a YouTube reader known as Miriam Kramer at Point Your Compass, okay? She is an awesome tarot card reader. If you would like to have your cards read by her, by all means, look her up. Miriam Kramer, Point Your Compass. Um, word, though, she's just like me. That's why I went to her to have my cards read, right? Um, she's just like me. If you want somebody that's going to give you a fluffy reading and tell you all the things that you want to hear and read all your cards in the upright and make everybody happy, don't come to either one of us because that's not going to happen. She tells it straight, just like I do straight up tough love if necessary, but straight up. So there you go. Shout out Miriam Kramer, point your compass. Okay. So Scorpio, Got a good one here. Looks like you are in the final stages of some kind of decision-making process here, Scorpio. Scorpio, you are presenting as the King of Pentacles, right out of the box. Control, stability, power. That's what you're interested in. That's on your mind. Control, stability, power. You see yourself as the king of pentacles you see yourself as somebody that is ready to take control of a situation and bring it into a realm of security right you're just going to grab the bull by the horns and you're going to bring it in okay you may have some kind of a taurus on your mind because there is a good deal of taurus energy in this reading so you might be dealing with a taurus it could be that this is just the energy the the energy that you're taking on at this particular point right standing up straight breathing in deep taking the bull by the horns and fixing to get some shit done that's what i see here scorpio you fixing to get some shit done what are you doing well, you are in your subconscious mind with the moon in reverse, dealing with repressed emotions and letting go of fear, letting go of fear, dealing with your repressed emotions and letting go of fear in regards to the queen of pentacles. Okay. So this tells me that you want to grab the queen of pentacles by the horns <laughs> and take control of the situation. You are trying to 
deal with your repressed emotions, let go of the fear because you want to go towards somebody that you see as the queen of pentacles. Okay. Queen of pentacles is wifey material. Okay. Queen of pentacles isn't like a one night stand kind of thing. Queen of pentacles is socks on the floor, dishes in the dishwasher, car in the driveway kind of person. Okay. That's what you're doing. You're struggling with your subconscious mind, dealing with repressed emotions and eliminating fear. So you can take control of a situation of a situation and go towards a queen of pentacles character the high priestess this is you in your subconscious mind you're trying to release fear and deal with repressed emotions with the moon in reverse reiterated by the high priestess right taking a knee searching your intuition and your subconscious mind to come to terms with the fact of what it is that you need to do Okay, really, this is like a really serious, um, quiet Scorpio kind of thing. This is where Scorpio clams up, crawls in their little crevice in their rock, and they don't come out. That's what you're doing right here. I, I'm surprised the hermit energy is not here. Okay, so you are definitely on the war path, Scorpio. You are plotting and planning in that brilliant mind of yours how exactly it is that you are going to succeed and achieve in the situation. How it is you're going to succeed and achieve in bringing in this Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Because, because, Princess of Cups in reverse. There is no creation going on between the two of you. No creation. This is also a card about being maybe emotionally immature. Maybe you are, Scorpio. Maybe you are a little emotionally immature. Perhaps the other person's a little emotionally immature. But either way, this is a card about no creation. None. No creation happening between the two of you. In the upright, it's a message about creating. In the reverse, it's not happening. There's nothing being created between the two of you. To the five of cups and you're concerned that this queen of pentacles has moved on you are you're concerned that the queen of pentacles has moved on you would like to have some forgiveness in this situation but you're kind of in your mind about whether they're even going to entertain you or not ace of pentacles is what's on your mind you want to manifest a brand new opportunity with this queen of pentacles you do you want to manifest a brand new opportunity with this queen of pentacles eight of cups there has been um disappointment and somebody has walked away in the past okay somebody has definitely walked away so how do i know this is a past relationship well i know this is a past relationship because you're struggling with your subconscious mind dealing with repressed emotions and fears if this was a fresh a fresh relationship there would not be repressed emotions okay so dealing with repressed emotions in your subconscious mind because there is no creation happening there's no creation happening. You want forgiveness in the situation. You want to manifest a brand new opportunity, but somebody has walked away in the past. This is a past relationship. Ace of Cups. There's a lot of feels, though. You have a lot of feelings for this person. A lot of feelings. And then Major Arcana Strength comes in and says that um, Scorpio you don't need strength you have strength and you do have the wherewithal to do whatever it is that needs to be done to bring this situation to a conclusion one way or another seven of cups though Scorpio's Scorpio's like all up in their head right confusion options choices decisions fantasy illusion wishful thinking Scorpio is perhaps thinking that that as much as they would like to bring this Queen of Pentacles into their life, that perhaps it's just wishful thinking, right? Perhaps it's just wishful thinking. The Emperor in reverse. Because um, you think maybe this person's inflexible, domineering, controlling. Maybe you were inflexible. Maybe one or the other or both of you was just an asshole in the past, right? But there's some kind of, of not niceness happening here okay there was some kind of beef between the two of you where one or both of you was an asshole to the other one in the past five of wands 
You want an increased focus on goals though, right? You want to rectify this situation with this Queen of Pentacles. You want to rectify the situation. And the world in reverse talks about um, closure, cycle closure. You want to close out the cycle of no creation. You want to close out the cycle of your repressed emotions and your fear. And you want to come clean with the Ace of Cups about how you really feel. Seven of Wands says, this is a bit of a challenge for you, but you do think it's worth fighting for. You do think it's worth fighting for. The seven is about reflection and assessment, right? You have thought good, long, and hard about this, and now you're ready to pick up your... Um, your staff right there and fight for this. You think this is something that's worth your effort, it's worth your attention, and it's worth fighting for, okay? You're going to have an increased focus on goals and you are going to close out this cycle of detachment that's happening between the two of you. Why? Well, death in reverse in the center of your reading. You have had a personal transformation. Death in reverse is right underneath the high priestess, right? In your intuition, in your subconscious mind. You've had a personal transformation. You know now what perhaps you didn't know before because you've dealt with your repressed emotions and you've dealt with the fear, the emotional fear that you have in this situation. And a personal transformation is in the center of your reading. Why the personal transformation? Because you have searched your subconscious mind and your intuition and now you see things clearly and you know exactly what it is that you want to do and how you want to go about doing it. Four of Cups, right? After much contemplation, much contemplation and reevaluation of the situation, you have thought this situation to death. What are you thinking about? The Queen of Cups in reverse, your emotional insecurity. You are emotionally insecure to move towards this Queen of Pentacles. Hence, re repressed emotion, releasing fear in the moon in reverse, the high priestess, right? Searching your subconscious mind, your intuition, the creative block that's happened between the two of you. You know, you could be dealing with the Pisces too. We have a lot of Taurus in this reading, and we have a lot of Pisces, the high priestess, um, the moon twice, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Could be, don't have to be, just saying right? So contemplating and reevaluating with the Four of Cups. If you can find some kind of structure and stability within the emotions, within your emotions, because you're emotionally um, insecure with the Queen of Cups in reverse. This emotional insecurity has created the resistance in the stalling, okay? You've been resisting and stalling, taking action on this because you're emotionally insecure, the Hierophant. This is your personal beliefs, right? You are coming to terms with your personal belief system about this situation, about what happened in the past, and about how you're going to move forward, okay? The Seven of Cups in Reverse, Diversionary Tactics. You are releasing your limiting beliefs. You're coming to terms with your personal beliefs. And you are releasing the diversionary tactics of resistance and stalling with the hangman in reverse because of your emotional insecurity. You're, you're done with it, Scorpio. You're done with it. You are taking, like I said, the bull by the horns. And you are moving forward in an in, in energy look in an energy of the King of Swords. This is a decision made. You have made the decision that you are going to bring a culmination with the Nine of Pentacles to the separation between the two of you. You have made the decision with the King of Swords, not negotiable, it's happening, executing the decision with the King of Swords to bring a culmination to the misalignment of values between the two of you. You're going to get to the bottom of what the problem is between the two of you, and you're going to rectify the situation. You are. The Magician says you're going to manifest it. This is Major Arcana saying, Scorpio, manifest it. Do this. Bring closure to this situation one way or another. Manifest this situation. You have all of the resources and all of the tools to bring, to create something out of nothing. Okay? 
and that's what you want to do here because remember there's there's creative block there's nothing happening between the two of you and you're going to change that you're going to manifest it strength follows it again second time strength has been in this reading you don't need strength spirit has your back you have the strength to manifest what needs to be manifested in this situation tower right this is scorpio this alchemist so we have the high priestess to death in reverse to the alchemist and the tower all in a vertical row okay i'm reading horizontal but we can also read vertical as well okay this is dana's spread dana's special spread 15 card spread my spread you can't find it it's not documented it's not written anywhere this is just how i read the cards a 15 card spread and i get feelings from vertical and i read horizontal so the alchemist is a tower okay the tower moment you are having an awakening about how it is that you are going to manifest the the correcting of this situation okay correcting of this situation you are going to manifest a correction and there has been an awakening inside of you because of a personal transformation because you've searched your your subconscious mind and your intuition <coughs> and you know what you're going to do and you have the strength to do it because nine of wands you're tired of the whole situation you're tired of the 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 personal protection that that you, you this is this is about self-preservation self-protection you're tired of feeling like this you're tired of the emotional insecurity you're tired of the the blockage between the two of you you're just tired with it and you made a decision with the king of swords to bring the conflict between you with the lover's card to a culmination with the nine of pentacles queen of pentacles in reverse right remember up here what you want to do is bring this queen of pentacles upright into your into your realm okay into your into your lair scorpio you want to bring this queen of pentacles in so in the reverse this tells me that this queen of pentacles used to hold title and position in your life she used to be the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles but she's not anymore somehow some way she either left this position in your life or you removed her from this position in your life but you want to change this right king of uh, knight of cups in reverse this is about um, being unrealistic it's about being unrealistic this is telling me that this queen of pentacles is not sharing her emotions with you at all perhaps i kind of get the feeling actually that there's no communication going on between you at all this queen of pentacles who used to hold title in your life but doesn't anymore is not sharing any kind of emotion with you at all king of swords same king of swords is back here fixing a change scorpio has had enough of the situation and is fixing a change and he is going to execute he, he the king of wands is going to execute um the decision to change this situation scorpio's had enough and and scorpio's like you know what no no it's not going down like this it's not going down like this and i am going to take the action that i need to take now that i have control over my emotional insecurity i'm going to take the action that i need to take take because i've had a revelation and an awakening a personal transformation and i am no longer avoiding responsibility anymore with the ten of wands in reverse not doing it not doing it not avoiding responsibility anymore hold on because because this lost opportunity with the ace of pentacles in reverse this lost opportunity the ace of wands in reverse the delays the frustration the lack of motivation to the four of pentacles the feelings of being insecure and scared and worried the feelings of being angry about all of the bullshit that has happened in the past that's standing in my way and with the chariot scorpio you are rolling forward you are rolling forward this is a card about having the determination 
to take whatever action is necessary to achieve success. And that's what you're doing in this card. You are finished being ambiguous. You are rolling forward. You're taking the bull by the horns. And you are going to fix the situation. You are. Five of Wands in reverse. An increased focus on your goals. The Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups in reverse. An increased focus on your goals because you're tired of there not being any kind of creation. You're tired of there not being an exchange of emotions. You're tired of it. You're done with it. And you're bringing it to an end. The chariot. This is your opposition, right? Your opposition is your fear. Your opposition is your repressed emotions. But you're dealing with it, Scorpio, and it's not going to be your opposition for very much longer because the chariot in the upright says you're rolling forward and you're going to take charge of the situation. The hermit in reverse, isolation. You're tired of being isolated from this person. You want to share your emotions with them and you're tired of being isolated. It's, it's the opposition. The world card in reverse comes in, talks about personal closure. You have manifested personal closure throughout this entire reading. This entire reading is about Scorpio's personal closure, their personal transformation, and their decision and their desire to move towards this Queen of Pentacles to alleviate the lack of creation. And you are getting some personal closure, and you are going to bring this whole damn cycle to an end. Ten of Swords in reverse. You are going to resurrect something from the dead, Scorpio. The Magician down here, manifesting. You are going to resurrect something from the dead. This is a card about recovery and regeneration, and you want both. You want to recover this relationship with the Queen of Pentacles and regenerate the relationship with the Queen of Pentacles. The Princess of Wands comes in, talks about enthusiasm, exploration, excitement, discovery. That's what you're going to do. You're going to go forward as the princess of pentacle pen, the princess of wands which is also the page of wands and you are going to send a um a message an inspired message to this person about regenerating and um redoing this whole thing princess of pentacles this is about manifestation you want to manifest a new opportunity you're going to go with the page of pentacles and the page of wands and you are going to send forth a message about resurrecting and recovering a relationship that has died in the past four of swords contemplating in a defensive posture thinking about your next move. How is it? What is your next move, Scorpio? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What's your next move? Two of Cups to the Sun. You're going to take this breakup, this pain, this sorrow, this grief, this misalignment of values, this misunderstanding between the two of you, and you are going to um, put the sun on it. Happiness, success, vitality. Major Arcana says, I got your back. You're right, Scorpio. By doing, by, by, by moving towards this Queen of Pentacles person um, and correcting the imbalance between the two of you is going to bring success, vitality, and happiness into the situation. Looky here, Scorpio. The last two. Communication creates an energetic shift in the situation and you assume your throne as the king of pentacles right remember you started out this whole reading as the king of pentacles what is your focus taking control of the situation taking control right the king of pentacles is all about control stability abundance creation they're about bringing security to the situation you started as the king of pentacles and you're ending as the king of pentacles you are going to succeed in this situation. There is going to be happiness, success, and vitality. And I'm glad to see, Scorpio, that you are coming out of a state of emotional insecurity and fear. And you have the King of Swords twice, the King of Pentacles twice. You have the High Priestess, the Death card, the Alchemist, and the Tower. Scorpio, this is a big deal. 
This is a big deal for you. And um, I'm, uh, I'm wishing you the very best of, of luck with all of this. Um, um, again, the only way to have absolute clarity and understanding and wisdom and guidance is to have your own cards read, Scorpio. But, you know, if this is enough for you, then you have at it because you're on the right track. You're going to grab the bull by the horns. I've said that like 500 times. And you are going to bring this Queen of Pentacles back into your life and hopefully live happily ever after. There you go, Scorps. Namaste.